This is your Recents menu, also called the Overview screen. Some apps have more than one card in this Overview screen, which can make them seem special. So how do those apps swing it? Well, the Overview screen is not actually a list of the recent apps a user has used, despite what you may think. Rather, it is a list of tasks. Side note, if you'd like to learn all about tasks, check the link in the description below. Ian has a lot to say. Tasks are a great way for your app to distinguish between disparate elements where a user might want to switch between each piece. Consider an email app with a task for the inbox and a separate task for composing a new email so that the user can reference back to the existing email when drafting their response. This is a beautiful use of tasks. Another useful way to think of how your app should use tasks is to consider the multi-window implications. In the multi-window world, each task will have its own window. So if two elements of your app should logically exist independently but side by side, that's a moment for tasks. We call multiple tasks concurrent documents. This sense of your app multitasking is where the concurrent part comes in. You've got a stack of activities that the user probably wants to interact with in parallel with another stack of activities. The document part is actually shorthand for anything that you create that lives separately from the rest of your app. So it could actually be a document in a text editor, but it could also be that draft email or a separate browser window or a specific conversation view for a messaging app. So the first step in creating concurrent documents is identifying what should logically exist independently. And to that end, multi-window really helps distinguish good cases for concurrent documents. Anytime you'd want to see two activities side by side, those would have to be separate tasks. To add a task to the overview screen, there is a pretty helpful manifest attribute you can specify when registering an activity in your manifest. Android document launch mode has four possible values. Into existing reuses any existing alternative document for this task, but creates a new task if one does not already exist. Always will create a brand new document for the task. None creates the task in the same window as the current activity, aka on the same stack. This is the default behavior and never serves to override any specified flags and permanently keep the task in the current stack. What specified flags am I talking about? Well, if you prefer to determine whether the task should be in a separate document dynamically, you can specify flags when starting the intent. To be clear, the creation of a task isn't actually special. You'll create an intent and pass it to start activity. But the creation of that intent is where you can get clever. If you haven't already, it's time to meet the add flags method. Flag activity new document is fairly straightforward. It tells the system to treat this next task as its own window in the overview screen. If there is an existing task with the same base component name and data URI, the system will use it. This means that your new document could be replacing an existing document. However, you can override this default behavior. If you always want the system to create a brand new task, you can add the flag activity multiple task. In multi-window mode, this gets even better as you can use flag activity launch adjacent in conjunction with flag activity new document to hint to the system that the task should be launched alongside the existing task. So the manifest attribute and the intent flags offer you the same options. Into existing is equivalent to using flag activity new document, whereas always is equivalent to using new document and multiple tasks together. Keep in mind though, that an attribute only needs to be specified once for the activity, while a flag will need to be added to every intent. So you'll probably want to choose a path based on the variability of your activity's use case. But between manifest attributes for default document behavior and flags for dynamic task creation, your app will be dominating that recent screen. Just, you know, be sure that domination is thoughtful and useful to a user because you don't want to go crazy and get yourself uninstalled. So now you're ready for concurrent documents. Check out the blog post linked in the description for more usage information and for code that you can copy and paste into your own app to build better apps.